Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to the pretty dang special card Friday, because it's currently October 20th, there we go, um, 2023, which means that it is Paradox Rift pre-release weekend. So, I've gotten the allotted packs and build and bow that my local card store allows for, um, and I am ready to go. So, the packs are an art set, which the build and bows usually have an art set as well. Artworks are Iron Valiant, Roaring Moon. These two are on the ETBs. There's actually two ETBs, like the version exclusive kind of ones. Then Armor Rouge, in not Cerule Edge, but Water Terror type Garchomp. I feel like they could have chosen a better uh, Pokemon to put in the pack from uh, Armor Rouge, but I guess it's sort of because, like, there's an Armor Rouge EX and there's no Cerule Edge EX, which they should have made the Cerule Edge EX, but. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Cerule Edge EX in a later set that gets on the pack art, though. Uh, if not, kind of lame for Cerule Edge fans. Uh, it's a good thing I like Armor Rouge more. So, starting off with the Iron Valiant pack. There is an Iron Valiant EX in the set. In fact, there's an EX of all the Pokemon in the pack arts, oh, shoot, as there usually is. Um, pretty clean opening. I'll probably save the pack for. So... Yeah, brand new set, a lot and lots of stuff in this set that I want to use. I forgot to do Guess the Energy um, for various decks. The big one, Iron Hand EX, I want it. Ampy very much for an extra prize card is pretty good. Golden Goal, anything Golden Go EX related is good. Just a whole ton of stuff that I want. So, let's get started. Cedra, Magby, let's go. Let's go, um, I, I saw an opening, uh, Mahoney Baloney, aka Tricky Jim, Andrew Mahone did an opening, and he pulled a Elekid, I was like, oh man, I hope there's a Magmi, there is, good news, Vanillite, or a Cory, oh, it's like the house at the beginning of the game, I think there's already a Squawkabilly card, oh, that's a good one, Technical Machine Evolution, evolve to your benched Pokemon for one colorless energy, Pretty good. Crocolore. There he is. Didn't even realize there was a Foy Coco line in the set, but I am not complaining. Oh, Vanillux. Got a pretty interesting ability. Uh, I'm not entirely certain how helpful it'll be, but it's a thing. Volcanion. That is a cool Pokemon. One of my favorite mythicals. The first and I believe only at present fire water type. So getting that in a reverse rare actually is pretty cool. Reverse Panpour. First of the Elemental Monkeys. There's all three of them in the set. They used to get a lot of hate, but I like them. I remember encountering them all in St. Loon Forest in X and Y and thinking they were a really cool thing. And I still think they're pretty cool, especially Sincere. And, oops, more Pico. Ooh, I like that. Hangry form. No Hungry Hurry. Ooh. Nice. Pretty bad, especially for a rare, but pretty cool. I forgot my sleeves, as usual. We got them. So, pre-releases, right? They're a little weird, because they sent to stores uh, basically uh, building battles and booster boxes. But, like, it's mostly, Pokemon gets its money primarily from collectors. So I feel like it would make a bit more sense if they at least sent some ETBs or something. And with the amount of booster boxes that they send to the stores, it's very difficult for the stores to sell, like, the booster boxes. I don't know, it's weird. Uh, screwed that opening up. Um, probably not sending that back. Sorry, Roaring Moon. I like you more than Iron Valiant, but not that much, apparently. Here we go. Some Palace. Remember to do Guess the Energy. I'll go Fire. It is Grass. Hey, maybe a Pansage in this pack, or a Simsage. We got uh, Parasol Lady. Porygon 2. Love the Porygon line. Octillery with the Yukamori artwork. Spectacular. 
Golbat. Techno, right? Oh, my first future card. Search your deck for up to two future Pokemon, reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. Um, you can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand. I, okay, so the past and future Pokemon, right? They're busted, like, they're always basic, which matches up with the game, yeah, so it makes sense. But why do they get so much good stuff when they're already so powerful? I don't know, it's weird. Uh, Masquerine. But yeah, that's cool. Ooh, Counter Catcher. That's one of the cards that I wanted. Um, but yeah, it's, it's weird. It's like, I kind of like how they're doing another single strike rapid strike thing, but it's like if every single strike rapid strike Pokemon was already really strong and they still got stuff like Earn of Vitality and Karen's Conviction. C Counter Catcher, though, that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> Bounce Sweet in, uh, looks to be Naranha Academy. Let's go Pokemon Scarlet Gang. Oh, Tinkaton Reverse Hollow. That is Reverse Uncommon. Bit of an interesting artwork. I feel like Tinkaton's little uh, hair pigtails or whatever you want to call them are a little bit big, but, you know, looks nice. Love Tinkaton. Always nice to get another card of it. And, oh, Asia Slash EX, the very first hit of Paradox Rift. Certainly not... The one that I would have chosen if I were to choose a hit, but hey, Perilous Edge? Oh my god, what happened with my voice there? Perilous Edge? Went from bottom to top there. Uh, Perilous Edge is a very cool end game uh, finisher attack. It being a stage two, eh. That's probably not going to be super meta relevant, but hey, even so, Aegislash is a really cool Pokemon from. My favorite generation, so I am happy about that. Let's get the camera focused. Ah, uh, I I feel like packs didn't used to do this, but like the new packs, sometimes when you open them, like you got like a little bit of clear part there, like you rip off some of the plastic, outer plastic from one side and goes to the other. Uh, I'll guess water energy. Fighting. Alright, let's see here. Lipard. Limpod. Elekid. Heck yeah. Does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for free. Interesting for a lightning GLC. Also, like how they're printing babies again. They start- Ooh, Iron Bundle! I thought this was a hollow. The first- Future Paradox Pokemon. So cool. Love the little future. But I, I know that was already on the um, uh, other future watch or whatever it was called, but still just want to point it out again. I, I like the past Paradox forms better, but I think the future cards look better. Uh, Ferrothorn. Yeah, but I, they started it last set, but I'm really happy that they're printing baby Pokemon again. Cursed Duster. Like a witch's broom, very in the Halloween spirit. Reverse Joltik, eating some, uh, I believe those are wiki berries. Looks like they're meant to be wiki berries. Or maybe they're just blueberries, who knows. Um, reverse Blip Bug. Dang, that's some pretty nice looking art for a Blip Bug, like the cartoony art set. Also, Blip Bug is a fun Pokemon name to say. And, Wo Chien. Live Wochien reaction. They've uh, printed the Ruinous Quartet as regular hollows rather than EXs um, for this set. Which means that there's more Chi Yu cards to get. As, uh, even though I main Chien Pao, that's my main deck right now, Chien Pao is my, or sorry, Chi Yu is my favorite treasure of Ruin. Also, ripped off some of the plastic again. Go me. I don't know. Uh, with with how excited for the set I am, I'm going to open a lot of packs of it. I don't know if I've said this before in this video. Uh, I'll... Looks like there's a little bit of a dent there, maybe. Huh? Hopefully that's not expensive. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I've noticed it yet in this video. Mentioned it yet in this video, but I am very excited about the set. I'll get some Metal Energy. 
Heck yeah, the age of slash told me. Thanks, my man. All right, that means I gotta get something good from this pack. All right, we got the Phoebes. Epom. There's a very, very nice illustration rare Epom in the set. Also, it's got an apple. Looks to be a sweet apple. A uh, Galvantula to go with the uh, Joltik I just pulled. Mantic, another surprisingly good attack for zero energy, but also it's only helpful late game. Mantic should not be in the active late game. It's got free retreat though. Rork, heck yeah. Um, there's actually quite a few uh, of the older gym leaders in this set. Like I know there's Rourke and Norman and stuff. Uh, and then Rourke Full Art looks very nice, so I'd like to get that. Um, I, I, I liked Rourke's gym, especially in BDSP. I think it was pretty cool. Steeny. Very pretty looking Steeny. Simapore. Let's go with the reverse Pampor. Look at that. Like it's launching some water droplets or something. It looks very uh, confident. I mean, it attacks for less if you have Simiseer and Simisage in play. It sucks. The attack sucks, but I don't know. It could be a fun kind of meme deck. Reverse Vanillish. Looking absolutely horrific. Like I just saw some ice cream in the freezer and it's like, it's my brother. Yeah, that's what Vanilla sounds like. So it's my brother. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, moving on from that, uh, we got a reverse Galvantula in the same pack as regular Galvantula. Just common. And Kingdra. Oh, oh, okay. I was going to say something about, like, oh, I mean, no more hits from the single packs, but that's a hollow bleed right there. Nice. I got, like, a page in my binder. Me and a good stuff binder dedicated to hollow bleed cards, so this would be a cool addition. All right, next up, the build and battle. There's four promos, as always. Um, let's see if I can recite them from memory. There is Iron Bundle. Um, and that is genuinely the only one I can remember. Um, yep, that is the end of the sentence. All right, let's let's get this sucker open. Come on, come on, come on. Also, huge day, dude. Like uh, Paradox Rift pre-release, Spider-Man Two, and um, Super Mario Bros. Wonder both just came out on the same day. So I'm going to be playing Spider-Man 2 after I finish recording this. All right, here we go. Let's see what promo I get. wonder if it'll be Iron Bundle or if I'll remember a second one. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, this is exciting. Paradox Rift. It's going to be... I feel like it's going to shake up the metagame a lot. Please have uh, an Iron Hands. That's my main chase from the set. Is a special illustration rare Iron Hands EX. Back has Iron Valiant, as is expected. Whew. Feels like they're focusing on Roaring Moon more than Iron Valiant, not that I'm complaining, but I think they're both pretty cool. Paradox, Pokemon. All right, opening a build and battle for the first time is always rough. And this is no exception. Come on. You got it. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see what the promo is. I'm happy with all of them. Aegislash. Yeah, for some reason, there's a regular Aegislash and an Aegislash EX in this deck. Or, this set, rather. So I guess you could combine them. This one's kind of better early game. As early game as a stage two can be. This is promo number 60. And, um, yeah, kind of happy I got that. Not the actual release event that I'm playing this weekend, but, uh... Who knows? I could get another Age of Slash. That would be quite silly. I may have broken it. It's not closing now. Curious. Alright, well, I'll worry about that later. I've got packs to open. <clears throat> this has a set list on it. Uh, I don't really care. I'm going to get a better one in the ETB once the set actually comes out. Printed, actually, hold on. A comparison. B comparison. Printed much darker. Like, look at that. Colors are a lot different. Strange. 
Uh, I'm going to open them in the same order as I did the uh, other packs. So we've got four more packs to go. And let me tell you, building battles typically have pretty good pull rates. I have only ever, ooh, only ever opened up one building battle and not pulled anything. So let's hope that this does not break the streak. All right, messy opening, but that's fine because I already have the Iron Alien art, so I can safely rip this sucker up. Get the cards out easier. <clears throat> I'm going to guess Lightning Energy. No, Psychic. It's Darkness. Opposite of Psychic. Larry! Yeah! Let's go! Larry! I love Larry, and I wish his card was better. Uh... <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, <clears throat> freaking dying here. There's a Cough Grigus EX in the set. Here's the mask. Uh, I would be happy with a full art, Larry. And I think there's a special illustration rare as well. Search kit. Whisper. <laughs> well, it looks like it's, uh, it looks like an Adventure Time character or something. Okay. Another Technical Machine Evolution. Another Vanillux. Defiance Vest. I haven't seen this. Like a defensive counterpart to Defiance Band. Reverse Hollow Masquerade. Looks like it's an Area Zero, even though you don't find Masquerade there. Excuse me. Dondozo. What in the... I... Who... Why did they format it like that? Look at how much space is there, and then how little space they got left. That just looks bad. That just looks really bad. Like, like I get why, because it always starts in the middle. But God. Yeah, that's rough. Oh, <laughs> anyway, it's a good thing it doesn't do any damage, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be anywhere for the damage to go. Supplemental Swallow Up. Swallow Up Room on the card. All right. Ooh. The first futuristic hollow iron jugulus. Now, if you look here, I actually didn't realize this, but the future part of it keeps the hollow pattern, but the other part doesn't. So I guess it's considered part of the border of the card. I'm gonna put this in a penny sleeve because it's gonna go straight into my Paradox Rift binder once I get one, anywho. Here's Roaring Moon, part two. Roaring Moon EX is interesting. It uh, has an attack that auto knocks out, but drops it to very low HP. Oh, I just entirely screwed that up. Is it, maybe it's salvageable, which I can't say. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't, I don't think I'll keep the ETB artwork of it actually, because it looks weird. Darker than usual. Weird sentence. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm gonna guess Psychic again. Psychic feels good here. Hey, hey, what did I tell ya? That's two guess the energies right today. Tink a tink. Very cute artwork. But, uh, I don't know, something seems off about it. I can't tell what, but there's Tink a tink. Charcadet. Why is there so many Charcadets? I believe Charcadet's been in every Scarlet Violet set so far, other than 151, which it's not really eligible to be. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, like, it's a split evolution, but I feel like they should just put one of each split evolution in the same set or something. Uh, here's Flittle in Uva Academy. Uh, I think, uh, what was the one earlier? I can't remember what. Okay. Uh, I think it might have been, like, Hop Up or something. Hold on. I gotta get the comparison shot in here. Nobody else cares about this but me. But I, I really care about it, so. Maybe it was one of the reverses? Yeah, Bound Sweet, okay. Yeah, here we go. So, Bound Sweet and Flill, they're kind of counterparts here. Like, yeah, that Bound Sweet to the right of the um, little terminal here and flittle to the left and in separate academies. This is really cool. As I said, nobody probably cares about this, but I think it's cool attention to detail. Probably same artist. Different artist, too. They, like, collaborated on... Oh, my gosh. This... I'm... I'm... 
I uh, <laughs> feel like there's a lot of thing in Pokemon where I'm like, that is so freaking cool. That is awesome, and I love that. And nobody else cares, but I care. All right, so so uh, what are the the artists? Kuki Saito and Kodama. They're both very cool for doing this. All right, uh, <laughs> back to the 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 main event. Here's Trubbit. Here's ah, oh, he's trash. Oh, I like I like Trubbit actually. I think it's pretty cool. I also like oh, Screamtail. First ancient card. Never mind. I was about to say I like Garbodor too, but I mean. Yeah, like Garbodor. Oh, <laughs> Screamtail. I wonder if Gardevoir's gonna play this. Gardevoir EX decks. Because if they are, um... I don't... That's space on the bench that Manaphy's gotta take up. That's annoying. Uh, but it's fine. Because Gardevoir's only gonna be relevant until rotation. Because it loses, like, Fog Crystal level wall. Just too much stuff to f function. Iron Bundle right after Screamtail. I already have one, but I'll take another. Ferrothorn. I already have one of those, too. Oh, ooh, Reverse Hollow Future Iron Bundle. I love how that looks. Like the, the blank hollow foil pattern. It looks sort of like the background to the um, Pokeball Reverse Hollow patterns in um, Japanese. It doesn't appear to be quite as reflective as the Japanese ones. Because the Japanese ones, you could like hold your face up to it and you can see a reflection in them. I, I just held my face up to it like... You can see that, um, but you can't really do that for this. Like, you can see re the reflection of my fingernail, kind of. But, um, yeah, it's still very nice looking, and I love how the little, um, different color parts of the future part, um, kind of glow. The Like, you can't really notice the colors until the light hits them, right? And then it looks really cool. I, I love how they made the future and past Paradox Pokemon look. I, uh... I like it a lot more than Single Strike or Rapid Strike. Also, I think they should errata um, uh, Great Tusk and Iron Treads to be Past and Future, respectively, because that would make sense. And also be awesome. Thank you, the Pokemon Company International. All right, second reverse. Uh, Gabite. Yeah, nobody cares. Galispod is the hollow. Galissapod is a pretty interesting Pokemon. Uh, I know Galissapod GX was played quite a bit back in the day. I wasn't really playing then. Uh -huh. The uh, I thought I saw blue there. Looked kind of shiny for a moment. Shiny pack? One in ten trillion? Uh, speaking of shiny, they actually just revealed today a uh, Japanese set in the vein of... Uh, Shining Fates and Hidden Fates with a bunch of shiny Pokemon. So uh, stay tuned for when that comes out in English. I'm opening a lot of it, baby. All right, uh, I'll guess Grass Energy. It's Water, another starter type. All right, another Porygon 2. Actually, my least favorite member of the Porygon line, but that's all right. Parasol Lady. Yukimori Octillery. Go back. I'm getting a lot more duplicates than I would like. Okay, thank you for being new, Veluza. Um, that is, I believe, the Watchtower, um, near the one town where you drop off Kofu's wallet. Yeah, I, I don't know why I can just see that and I know it. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot about Pokemon. Alright, Blindsight. I don't like how Lost Box gets 100 damage bent tonight for free with Cramorant. That's a little cringe. Um, I, I, I hate Lost Box. I want it to... I want them to be in comfy. Uh, Crocolore. And again, reverse pants age. Maybe I'll get a reverse pants here. Oh, that's even better. Reverse Professor Turo's scenario. And if you look closely there, looks like there's some sort of scratch in there. That's, that's interesting. Anyways, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool card, too. Seems to be pretty helpful. It's basically just AZ, but futuristic. And I know AZ is at least good in Expand. I'm pretty sure it was good in Standard at the time. Uh, and then the rare is... Uh, Aegislet. Look at this! We got the boys over here. The lads. The homies. The bros, even. I mean, come on. They're the boys. Alright. Uh, I, I love Aegislash, dude. It's so cool. Freaking... 
ghost sword and shield. And it, like, changes forms. That's awesome, dude. All right. Noticing that both of the regular Age of Slash are um, in the uh, shield form. There's the EX is in blade form. I wonder if the blade form stays consistent with its uh, full art. That I'm sure it has. All right, let's hope I can get a hit from here. Iron Hands EX, maybe? I don't care which Iron Hands. I just want them. Or a Golden Go. I'm not that picky. Uh, let's go Fire Energy. It's Metal. Eh? That, does that mean Golden Go, perhaps? All right, so I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm. I don't, I don't believe in luck. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Let's see here. Wiggle. Such a nice wiggle. I'd love to see it. Oh, hail to the king, Jirachi, invalidator of Sableye, savior of the format. Yeah, nothing's gonna run this. I'll. I'll, I'll run it in United Wings. Common too. Very nice. How you got? <laughs> Nackley. It's got a trail. That's that's awesome. And like some salt flats. The Nackling line is great, dude. Uh, Cursed Duster. Or Beetle. It's pretty cool. Standing in a forest. Not staying floating in the forest. Looking all menacing. Wanna wanna meet him in a dark alley. Cloth. He's going crazy. Does 190 damage if he's affected by a special condition. Reverse Hollow Remoray. Let's see. Got two more opportunities to get hits. Let's see if I get one. That's a hit as far as I'm concerned. Reverse hollow tandem mouse. And here comes the golden go. You ready? Grout. There's a grout on in this set? All right. Uh, <laughs> that is a grout done. Very, very cool. Yeah, my uh, at least semi-bad luck streak kind of continues here. Open eight packs. Only got one hit. Feel like lately I've either been getting a ton of hits or nothing. And uh, just because it's a new set, I'm gonna open up this and see what's in it. I usually open them up off camera, anyways, unless I already have the promo. Because I want to get the promo inside. But um, hey, I think I don't, I don't think there's a special illustration or age slash. Check the set list in a moment. But uh, if there isn't, then I'm probably just missing the full art Age of Slash for every Age of Slash in uh, the set. Scarlet Violet Era, even. It's crazy. All right. Here we go. So, look, I got uh, Age of Slash and Ispather, which I believe is one of the other promos. All right. Leave up that Age of Slash, put him there with his friend, and you know, I don't want to separate him from the other Age of Slash. Here you go. You're together. A big happy family. Um Yeah, it looks like Age of Slash and Ispathra. Just throw those away. Uh, I don't know why I'm holding them like this. Just tons of psychic energy, tons of metal energy. Hone edge. Of course you need the hone edge and the double aid to get to Age of Slash. Natu. Oh, that's cool. It's got the Zatu in it, too. To Aegislash, to Dublade. Man, Dublade's such a sick Pokemon. Espathra. Love using this with speed boost stored power. We got Jacques. Youngster. Rika. That's Paradox Rift. Hello. Yeah, she's fine. Uh, Zatu's really good. It's... Man, like, the power creep in just one generation is crazy, because Chilling Rain, you got, um, uh, uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Once during your turn, you may attach a basic psychic energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, draw two cards. Just, like, two years? Like, two and a half years later? Same card gets printed as a single prizer instead of a triple prizer. Heart creep is kind of go. Oh, let's not, let's not do that. Let's steal that. I can't even enter it yet. Uh, we got psychic Nessa. But yeah, power creep is kind of crazy, even just in the little span of time. So, uh, that's gonna be it for this card Friday. Slightly disappointing. I only got one hit from all the packs that I got, but that's fine because, like I said, I'm going to another pre-release event. 
this Sunday. Um, also, time to check out which Aegis Slash I'm missing. Or Aegis Slash is, or maybe there isn't any. Who knows? Alright, I'm gonna try not to look at this too much. Um... Here we get Age of Slash EX. This is the full arts. And it does not look like there's a special illustration. Yeah, just three special illustration rare EXs. Oh, is there a gold beach core ant? There's a gold counter catcher? Gold reversal energy. Heck yeah. Okay, that's awesome. All right, anyways. <laughs> that's going to be it for this card Friday. I've been going on for a while now. So, I will see you next week. Which is the last Friday before Halloween. Mwahaha.